Hello, this is Ben. I'm also known as the Entire Metalhead from all my social media, and I'm doing a review on Metalhead, my self mock. I'm planning on revamping him soon, but I also really like this version, so I want to have a better documentation for further times about how I built this. So, Metalhead is sort of an interesting character. Um, it doesn't have a very specific power. It basically, he has no abilities until he encounters someone else. Then he has to. Then when he uh, gets exposed to that ability, um, if it doesn't kill him, he can then. Uh, try to understand and use that ability, but he has to practice it a whole ton before he can get any good at it, so he has to work to be able to learn a new ability. That also ties partly into his appearance as well, which is why he doesn't have any uh, primary colors other than the gems on his chest. So, let's start from the ground up. His feet are just metro feet. There's nothing really special about those. Um, but his lower legs, they're a huge block of Technic. Uh, very solid and very complicated. Um, at least they look really complicated. Um, his knees are also very interesting. It can bend very well, uh, almost 180 degrees, but the most interesting part is how I connect to this. It's just two hero cores on a handpiece, and they just uh, lever and squeeze themselves on there to keep it from falling off. And it actually stays on there pretty good. The upper legs, they're just a hero factory. Your factory bone with a lot of stuff put onto them. They're not extremely complicated either. But this torso is very complicated. You know, these tubes help keep everything together, and believe it or not, there's actually some articulation in there. It kind of messes up placement of the, gem, the gems that are there, but he does have some torso articulation. On the torso you see these six gems, they stand for the six main elements, um, uh, water, ice, um, air, jungle, whatever, earth, uh, stone, and fire. I will probably change this out once I get different colors, uh, like uh, Earth I'll change out to purple later. And then there's another gem under here, which is kind of a little fun easter egg. Uh, a white gem that I guess stands for 7th element, light, life, whatever I decide to do in my story. Um, and, and while we're here, might as well talk about his weapons. He has these blades, which can be stored on his back. They're nothing really special by themselves, and the story can channel certain energies through them, like electricity. Nothing, again, nothing really too special about their, their construction. And then there's these right here, which just clip on by a stud. And they can do various other things. Uh, basically, any sort of weapon that he can use and make by uh, make by projecting any sort of energy. Basically, here are some examples of sort of blades he would have. And they can connect in multiple places. There are some 
on the side of his legs, also on this on his waist and uh, at his back as well. Onto the arms. They're uh, pretty custom. Uh, they're not super complicated though. Just a ball joint with several ball joints and a hand connector. And then just a, 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 a simple lower arm, um, lower forearm. And there's an, another set of weapons you can connect to there, which are just these basically wrist blades that connect right here. They can swivel, of course, just something that was in his earlier versions that I decided to bring over here, but they aren't firmly attached anymore. His... he is very greebly. It's, that's part of the reason why I'm going to revamp him, is because I prefer a more smooth look, but he still looks pretty good for all the greebling. And this... Sorry about that, my battery died. Well, um, his chest is all based off of a Krika chest plate, just built out from that, which you can see as see right there. That was the original chest plate, but I decided that it would be interesting to build on top of that to get some different different look for it. And there's these Borok teeth and skeleton arms that give more complex look than the original one did. Another thing is the mask. I actually sculpted this mask myself. It is actually the second version. First version is this one. It was a bit... It had a bit too shallow features cello features and it isn't the details aren't very well defined not to mention it's a bit too small for this version of metalhead so I ended up re-sculpting it it's just out of milliput it's sort of yellowish putty then I painted it with simple model paints it's pretty good I'll probably end up uh, end up 3D printing something soon, but I don't have access to a working 3D printer currently, so um, this will have to do for now. Anyway. Metalhead. Uh, a lot like me, uh, doesn't talk much, but loves learning new things and uh, building things which is what he did to get his weapons to solve his predicament I'll probably go into more story some other time or provide some sort of some sort of background and, and then another of my sites um, And his back. You can see that he was a mask of time. I basically wanted to give him some sort of backpack sort of look. And then it flows very well with this uh, Tacadox armor, I think that's what it's called. And that's something I'm probably going to carry over to his next version, but. These, everything looks pretty good on this guy. It doesn't flow too well because he's super greebly, but the color blocking is pretty interesting, as well as uh, how he how he looks uh, generally. Um, should probably go over articulation now, so. His head, 
a general movement. Um, nothing too special about that. He can't look down a ton, but not many creations can that I've built. His arms can uh, rotate around fully. 90 degree bend. Uh, his wrists have regular movement. And uh, his waist, if you, uh, which actually can have a bunch of movement, uh, uh, his armor hip armor can swivel pretty well, and he can move his legs out a decent amount either way, as well as straight out to the side. His knees you've already seen, and his uh, ankles are pretty much the same as well. So, that's about it for Metalhead, and I'll probably do some more of these if you guys are interested. But as of now, I'm the entire Metalhead from Flickr and also Instagram. And I'll see you guys some time later.